yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Alice, and I'm here with my homie, Black King Q. Say what's good. Yo, what's up, people? How you doing? Tell the people what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be talking about Wonder Woman's uh, Rebirth, which is the uh, reboot of certain comic book series. And this one will be on Wonder Woman issues one through eight. Hey, hey, let's go, let's go. Now, um, this comic book is kind of weird because it's split up. Four comic book issues are when the present day and then another four flashback when she's in Themyscira before she became Wonder Woman. So first we're going to go ahead and talk about like before she became Wonder Woman. And uh, it basically starts off, you know, she's on this island. She's a fucking princess, beautiful, all that bullshit, right? Yeah. And this nigga Steve and his crew, he's doing his shit, World War II. He crashes on the fucking land. All the women are like, oh my God, he's got a dick. Watch out. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Pretty much that's what happens I mean, yeah, sure. Hey, but, but Wonder Woman was like Nah I like that dick Nah I'm just playing, just playing. <laughs> Well partially Partially <laughs> if you heard the news you... Oh yeah yeah Partially my bad She, she don't know yet she's confused Anyways <laughs> <laughs> You have people in your comments What are you talking about <laughs> She knows who right, she right. is All right. So if you don't know um, she's, she, she's bi That's why we're saying this That's what we're talking about which is obvious, but I don't want to get into that anyway. Yeah. We'll talk about that another time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Steve lands. Um, everybody is scared, but they go ahead and heal him anyway. And now they have some type of uh, tournament, like a fucking joust and shit. And the winner has to leave the mascara and she can't come back. Oh, yes. Because she'll be banned. And um, yeah, that's basically how that those four go. It ends when she's already there and she gets locked up um because they don't understand her yet she can't talk english she can't communicate and she's trying really hard that's the and issues yeah. that bridge the gap between uh like from like the present time of her she her winning the uh the uh, tournament to go take steve back to when before she got her like powers and shit yeah okay and um yeah so like like she won the tournament she got all the items that gave her her powers she took that invisible jet, which is back, and she went. Uh, she got captured. They put her in jail. She can't communicate. She meets Barbara Ann, which we will talk more about her later. And yes. so yeah, that's that's that floor. That's basically recapping that. How did you feel about those four issues, Q? That was actually a good start. I feel better than the second part, really. Because the... Uh, I don't know. We, we get a quick glimpse of like how she... like basically how she is wonder woman because i didn't really read wonder woman this is like my first time reading her and I, I know of her because of all the shit she's in she's in like all of the justice league stuff and everything and she's like a really powerful character so for them to reboot her like this it'll be interesting yeah so they did like a good introduction so if you don't know who wonder woman is you don't have to worry you don't have to read any of the past stuff you go straight into this and you'll be fine um actually now that I think about it, I've only covered three of the issues. So the fourth one is about Barbara Ann's origin, about how she's trying to find Themyscira before she even met Wonder Woman. She's trying to prove to everybody that that's a thing, that Amazonians exist and everything. That was actually issue number eight. Oh, uh, yes. So that's the uh, what is five through eight. Well, not five through eight, but that's like uh, it was like the split most up. It was like um, it was like one after another. Was, like, I think one was. Um, her was actually starting to look for Themyscira again. Um, Wonder Woman was looking for Themyscira. Oh yes. And then two was the and then two was the origin, and then you know it just went off like that. It was mixed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep it real because like it took me. I the only downside was it took me a couple issues to understand that they were going back and forth. So that was kind of confusing me in the beginning because I have you never. To, you had to look at the titles. Yeah. In the titles, yeah, like it's all lies. One, two, three. Like that was all one arc. And then there was another name, one, two, and three, and that was, you know. Anyway, the other four issues is when Wonder Woman already has a power. She's already established in the world. She, I guess she had her relationship with Steve already. Mm -hmm. Right? So uh, he, she's just wandering around trying to find the mascara again, trying to get back to her homeland. And something is wrong with her, because if you don't know in Rebirth, everybody kind of has like 10 years of their lives taken away from them. Right? Yes. And the oh, connection. Fine. There's a I think a connection to that too where um 
I forgot which the past one, which was the previous um, reboot. What was the previous one before this one? 52? 52. Yeah, yeah, 52, where they ended that saying that she basically has like a brother and everything. So she doesn't even like remember that. Yeah. And there, that's going to be like another arc pretty much probably down the line that they're going to go into. I don't know why they didn't like kind of they don't tell us that like if you just started with rebirth you don't know that she's eventually gonna like she has a brother you have to go back to like 52 the end of 52 to know that but that's gonna be I'm another feeling, arc yeah they'll connect it all eventually oh that's yeah not something you don't know immediately <clears throat> well yeah so, yeah so anyway uh while she's looking for a homeland she's trying to she looks she runs into uh barbara ann which uh she was usually just a human blonde right but apparently she got cursed to become some type of tiger Tigress? Yeah. Uh, some yeah, some tigress that can villain that can be ass ugly tree. <laughs> Cursed yeah, her. I already forgot what this bitch's name was. It, it was it's not Barbara Ann, because that's, that's a different one. Because it's oh, a. It's the same chick. Oh, it's, so, that's so what that's. The, the tiger chick. Was yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. She had titties for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> she was a tiger with titties. <laughs> pretty good over it. Like, that was just such a weird design. <laughs> weird, right? And then apparently she was cursed because she wasn't a virgin when she fucked this fucking tree. And you got to see this tree. I'm a. I don't know. One. I'm gonna put it, yeah. find a picture I'm of him and Damn, I'm put, put it, it up on. here. It's, it's just weird. And it's so like, somehow, what? <laughs> so somehow this bitch fucked the tree. I'm assuming she was raped, but yeah, since yeah. she wasn't a virgin, the tree was like, ah, oh, there's no blood coming out. You're cursed. And then, yeah. So That's crazy. Barbara is now bloodthirsty. Aside from being a tiger, she wants to just kill things all over. I think she wants to kill men. Just men. She wants to kill um. Now any I think male oriented creature, be it like human or because remember when she was about to go after the freaking uh, well she was killing those wolves those like uh, yeah, yeah. wolf she hybrids. Going in, bro. She was oh, like she killing was. them and everything. She, so I think it's any. I think it's just a bloodless period for like in anything that's not freaking her. Cause she, she was trying to go after Wonder Woman for a bit, and Wonder Woman had to put her down, not like sure. kill her, but like check her real quick. Yeah. So Wonder Woman agrees to help Barbara Ann try to stop the curse, which means having to go kill this tree motherfucker. But <laughs> okay, and while that's going on, the tree mo um. There was this guy who worships the tree motherfucker. I'm so bad with names. Just, we're gonna call this nigga Bob, okay? <laughs> so, so Bob, he he captured Steve and his crew, and Bob is trying to turn Steve into a reincarnated tree nigga. And it was weird. It was fucking hentai. It was tentacles and shit going in. It was, <laughs> <Steve>. <laughs> uh, it was, it was weird. <laughs> right? It was. It wasn't like. It was. There was some like tree barks and everything you know some regular stuff too you want to go that far and say he's it so he's turning into the tree and you know what wonder woman does she came in like bitch nah nigga that's my man started fucking shit up and uh yeah how do you feel about it q about like what that that uh the event arc, you know, that wonder arc woman kicking the tree's ass or whatever Oh wait, was the tree? The tree was a pedophile, right? Like, didn't he? Wasn't he trying to get like some little girl? No, yeah, he he pulled some like um some crap and like kidnapped all these little African girls too. And yeah, so man, she, like, what is this, yo? What she the fuck? and uh, what DC, what are tigress. you doing? Hentai shit, the tigers with titties, little girls, fucking trees. What is this, man? What is this? It's the you know that storyline. They be that's yeah. what they're gonna do. Sure. Yeah. They're gonna go yeah. after somebody. So how'd you feel about those? But that was a that was a good turn arc. I feel like that was that was issue five to seven, not even five to seven. I felt like that was that was issue like number seven really and everything where that happened and uh, it was an interesting little like arc to see Tigress and Wonder Woman working together really. Because throughout different series, you see they like Tigress hates Wonder Woman with a passion, and, yeah, and for them to do that. Somebody new in general, because I looked her up, and mm -hmm. I didn't see this person, in, you know, in any other type of form of media. Mm -hmm. like, she wasn't the chick that was in any of the DC animated movies. Mm -hmm. She wasn't the one in uh, Justice League or Young Justice. 
So I don't, I don't know. I probably fucked him up, but mm -hmm. I don't know. So with with Tigress or like Barbara Ann herself? Barbara Ann, I don't like this. or whatever she is, like completely. Because in the series, we do we ever know who uh, Tigress like is and everything? No, I don't they think don't so. Mean, I know she, because I the way the comic did it and everything, I thought it was one of her own like Amazonian you know women, but. It being Barbara Ann, I don't know, makes it interesting. But let's get to that last issue, number eight. What did you think of that? It's basically like a a time jump to when Barbara Ann, when Barbara Ann was little, and her going through this whole thing to find the uh, I can't even pronounce that place. Uh, he was, she was trying to find Demis Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, um, I didn't like the ending. Like she was, she was, she went around. It made you felt like she was about to find it, you know. Like yeah. She was getting clues. She knew what she was doing. And then at the end, she just she, the little last words were, "I went the I went the wrong way." It's what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that's pretty much how it ended. She's you know she's older now and everything, and she's like this. You know, this guy was saying, "Hey, she's gonna be a talented, you know, a researcher and all of this." And to let it go that she doesn't need to find this place, but she's so, you know, hard-headed. She wants to find this uh, where the Amazonian women came from, and so yeah. she she delves into all of this. Like you know, we see these travel pages and everything where she's jumping from place to place, continent to continent, to find it. And then she, I think, by the end, it ends with her just like just finding the island, and then for being on the island, and then that like that's it, and then. Issue number nine, yeah. we gotta see. I can't wait for that shit. I think it's going the right way. Um, I think these were just like little side stories. I don't think they really went into anything major yet. No, yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking too, because it's like kind of was all over the place a little bit, but still told you certain parts. I think this is, yeah, this is, of course, this is all a set, like setup and everything, setup issues for when the main stuff happens, because yeah. all of the, I don't know, they're gonna have to connect them. Because everybody's going to have to get their 10 years back or they're going to have to come up with some other way for the story to like finish. But it's just beginning sort of still. So I'm not that worried right. about it. Would you recommend these comics to somebody who's trying to dive into comics for the first time? I would say yes. And okay. it may be a bit confusing from like not knowing who certain characters are. But I don't think... I think they'll pull it off in a way where like they've already kind of done it because they gave you the issue where you're going into like Barbara Ann. So I assume they're going to do like the different issues. They did uh, like an issue on Steve, too, where they showed like what Steve was doing. Wow. While... That, that was when he crashed. OK, um, yeah. So they give you a little bit of like yeah. his his little side story and all that, too. So they're setting it up well. So, yeah, I would recommend it to read it. And it's it's you know, it's newish. It's like barely eight issues in, so you're not going to be behind. Because that's the biggest, I think the big, one of the biggest things that turns people away is you sit here and want to get into it. And you see you're like, oh, they're 42 issues in. Okay, I don't want to yeah. like do all that, but, you know, get in now because they're rebooting everything. <laughs> yeah, no, Especially for DC, DC and everything. Birth, I recommend that completely. Just go into whatever character you like, it's like Superman, go read the Superman one. Yes. Everything is just rebooted. Yes. So start now. Any any recommendations that you would put for uh like that you uh, like if I had to rebirths? I love Wonder Woman and mm -hmm. then the Batman one. Oh yeah. Batman Rebirth. Yeah, I know it's generic, all oh, Batman, whatever. But trust me, it's it's pretty damn good. I have to actually get started on that one too. But mm -hmm. the is it just that one you'd recommend the batman one any others um there's the, i forgot if it was the action comics or one of the like, if it was just superman but uh i'm pretty sure it's the action comics go, go read the action comics doomsday comes back so oh yeah it gets really fucking intense and then i think i have a couple too where it's aquaman because in this reboot Aquaman ain't no bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I believe in the movie. Nah, I believe nah. in the movie when that comes oh, in out. The movie, nah, nah, yeah. the movie's <laughs> he's always gonna be the little bitch that everybody makes fun of. He's he's like he's really powerful and people gotta put some respect on his name. 
but that uh, Aquaman and Cyborg, which is I think two or three issues in, so that one barely like came out too. And then who else? Aquaman, Superman, like you said, the Rebirth one, and then I think that's pretty much it. What I was reading though, so far. But yeah, uh, eventually I'm gonna dive into all of them. I definitely want to start reading uh, Batman Beyond. Um, and I, they haven't done Static Shock yet, right? Are they? Did they say they were gonna do that though? I don't even. I don't know, but they better do it, man. That would be a nice little, you know. I would definitely do that. No, I don't know why, but I, I'm reading Harley Quinn Rebirth too as well, which is like it's more funny than like good, really. And then uh, Justice League, Re- Justice League is also good. That one's doing well, I think. And Titans and the Flash. You have to. I think the Flash is the one that is gonna kind of tie it together. So I feel like you have to follow his story. So I would recommend anyone to start reading that one before it gets in deep and everything because it's like that's the main he's the main person who finds out like Wally West and Barry Allen they're the main ones who find out like oh what's going on they can time travel so they know that this time these 10 years have been taken from them so they of course are going to know who's doing this and probably find it out along with uh, other story arcs from different comics true true <clears throat> all right well um any last words uh yeah this was a uh, fun and best believe we do this again i'm gonna be more organized <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah. this was a you know first time thing and uh my first time doing this type of thing and uh yeah have fun and read you some wonder woman and have a good time all right yeah um like he said i probably will be doing this shit weekly so I saw I want to read more comments and it's going to be give me like kind of like an excuse to do that. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we were so unorganized in this <laughs> one. I didn't write down shit when I was reading Wonder Woman. Now I know what I got to do. So I'm going to have to write down all these niggas names. Fuck, I called this guy Bob. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me the comments. His name is not Bob. <laughs> Get it right. right well, mm-hmm. leave a comment. Ah, I'll leave a comment. <laughs> oh, man, leave a like, all that bullshit. Thanks for watching. And go sub to my boy, Black King Q. Link will be in the, t- yeah, in the description below. Thanks for watching. All right, peace, and we out. <laughs>